How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. I recently saw Dune 2 in theaters and wow, what a movie. I won't go into any details about it, but if you are someone who doesn't go to theaters a lot, I highly recommend watching it in a movie theater. It was a phenomenal movie going experience. The movie inspired me so much, I decided I wanted to build a Dune Lego mock. This mock isn't based on any scene from Dune or Dune 2, so you don't have to worry about spoilers or anything. I mostly just wanted to build a little Dune inspired Lego landscape. Here's a rough sketch I drew up of the mock. The colors I will be using are dark tan and medium nougat. I may also add a black border to it. Before I started building, I needed to clean up my desk and workspace. Now that my space is organized, I started by placing down two 16x16 16 16 plates for the base. I then connected the plates using some 2x4 bricks. Next, I added some 1x4 modified bricks with studs on the side so I can eventually build off the sides. I then flipped it over and added some long plates onto the bottom of the mock. Not only does this lock everything in and make it stronger, but it allows me to add plates on the modified bricks where they are flush with the ground. After that, I added some light bluish gray plates to the outside of the mock. I will build some rock work off of these plates. I decided I wanted to extend the base a little more. I added a 6x12 and a 4x8 plate. I repeated the process of adding modified bricks onto them, plates underneath and on the sides of the modified bricks. It was now time to fill in all the gaps with some filler brick. The base is pretty much prepped and ready for me to start building the terrain around the base. First, I added some dark tan bricks and plates all around the outside. I try to roughly create the shape of what I want the landscape to look like. Once I have a rough shape, I then will go in with all my slope pieces. For this landscape, I used cheese slopes, wedge bricks, rounded tiles, 1x2, 1x3, and 2x2 slopes and rounded slopes. I created some little clumps of dark tan terrain. I add these to the sides of the mock. I was really trying hard to make sure the terrain blended well together. Next, I grabbed every dark tan wedge plate I could find and began adding them in spots where there was an angle that stuck out a lot. I needed to cover up the spots where there were a lot of sides of bricks showing. It was time to get out my rounded tiles to add another layer onto the wedges. This will add a really nice texture. I now need to build up the mound of sand that Paul, Chani, and Stilgar are going to be hiding behind. I'm using these snot bricks as the internal structure of the mound they make it so easy to build terrain off of. I also placed some snot bricks down in the area where the Harkonnen soldier will be coming from. While I was building up this piece of landscape, I was really trying to just have fun and not restrict myself too much. I obviously didn't want it to be too big. The bigger hill will be on the right side of the mock. While I build landscapes like this, I just try to make sure each piece I place fits well next to the surrounding ones. I don't want anything to stand out too much. From a distance, I want this to look like one individual object versus multiple little pieces. No idea if that makes sense, trying to verbalize this process is so hard sometimes. Now that the little chunk of land was 90% done, I wanted to begin working on the large mound of sand on the right side of the mock. This is where the Harkonnen soldier will be repelling down. I used a lot of 1x3 slopes and rounded slopes here. 
As the slopes go farther back into the mock, I would raise them up and out by one stud to get that shape. Uh-oh, do you hear that? Someone must have called in a sandworm. All right, back to the build. I then started placing the slopes in the opposite direction, so it looks like the wall is going in and then back out where you go farther up it. I then added more snot bricks to the side so I could almost wrap the terrain around. The mock is almost done. I just need to finish working on the tops of both mounds and the ground. Next, I finished the ground of the mock using some medium nougat tiles and rounded tiles. I'm imagining the medium nougat represents all of the spice. I got this design from one of my Ferrex mocks in my Andor series. If you haven't checked that out yet, please go check it out. After the ground was done, I built up the back of the little mound with some support pieces and added some medium nougat bricks to the top of it to break up some of the dark tan color. I then needed to do the same for the large mound. Next, I added all of the minifigures and accessories. My space was a bit messy, so I organized everything quick before getting out my light box and taking pictures of the mock.